Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And on today's video, we are continuing on with our 12 days of Christmas cookies, all using the same dough. And if you are enjoying all of the fabulous cookies that you're seeing here, then be sure to check out my Vlogmas playlist so you can see all of these different recipe videos. And today we're going to be using the exact same dough recipe to create this sugar cookie tart shell. Now creating a tart shell is relatively simple, but you will need a tart pan. And the difference between a tart pan and other types of pie pans are that they can have a removable bottom. I often get asked the question, what's the difference between pie dough and tart shells? I find pie doughs are very flaky, very, very buttery, and there is a high content of butter in this as well. Obviously, we're using browned butter today, but it is a little bit drier, and it comes out with a little bit more of a brittle texture. So rather than biting into a really flaky crust, what you're going to get is you're going to get a nice shell that has a bit of a crumb to it more of a melt in your mouth type texture. Now, after you roll everything out and be sure to really grease this tart pan, by the way, you're rolling everything out very thin and then you're going to make sure you dock it as well so that no air bubbles form in there. While that's in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to be making my ganache. I will note this recipe for the ganache down in the description box below. It's a very simple recipe. It literally is just heavy whipping cream and chocolate. By the way, my tart shell spent about 14 minutes in the oven. I took it out and let it fully cool before removing from the pan. And then I'm placing my ganache in pretty much right after everything was melted and thoroughly mixed. And then I'm just going to stick this in the fridge for a little while. And while I'm waiting for this to set up in the fridge, but you can also place it in the freezer for more expediency, I'm going to make my whipped cream. I'm just going to sweeten it up a little bit. I don't want to make it too, too sweet because obviously we have a lot of chocolate. By the way, I did use use dark chocolate. Now it's time to decorate. Now I was being a little bit hasty with this, so I highly recommend that you let that chocolate set for a very long time to the point where if you put something on its surface, it's not going to grip onto this plastic, for example. But it will still work, it's just that you won't get as nice of a clean stencil. So I'm using glitter today, but you can honestly use anything like icing sugar would work really well on this. And this is a multi stencil, which means that it actually has a few different parts to it. So it's all about aligning those parts. And I really love using both the silver and the blue glitter on this. It was really giving me frozen vibes. Now I decided to fill up this entire tart shell with chocolate ganache, but you could have a different filling underneath and then put the chocolate ganache on top and just use a little bit less. Totally up to you. I just really love a plain and simple tart that has the chocolate ganache with the whipped cream on top and I'm just creating rosettes and I'm also creating some star tipping as well and I'm using all of the same tip it's the classic 1m tip you can do a lot of different things with this if you want to check out my video on how I decorated all of these cupcakes with the 1m tip then you can go ahead and click this video in the right hand corner this dessert idea is perfect for when you have those last minute unexpected guests or if you want to make something in advance and it's so, so simple, comes together so quickly and you can stylize it however you would like. This would look beautiful with some candied or sugared cranberries on top. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now I'm uploading every single day for Vlogmas, so be sure to come back tomorrow to see what I do with this dough for the 12 days of Christmas cookies. Also be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!